Larry, thanks so much. Tonight and all this week, our series of special reports on the Church of Scientology. Allegations by former insiders that the Church's top leadership condoned, encouraged, even committed acts of violence. Also, the denial is just as vigorous from the Church itself, which is blaming the violence on those former insiders. Two starkly different versions. Only one of them can be the truth. Someone is lying. First coming forward last year in the St. Petersburg Times with allegations of abuse against church leader David Miscavige, Marty Rathbun and five other former high-ranking Scientologists have found themselves under vigorous attack by the church they once dedicated their lives to. The former Scientologists are accused of working together to destroy the church. Tommy Davis is the church spokesman. The church is going to defend itself. It's going to defend itself for its own sake, and it's going to defend itself for the sake of its parishioners. And the fact of the matter is, is these individuals are out there, and they're lying. Current and former senior Scientologists sent CNN dozens of declarations, emails, and affidavits defending the church and its leader and attacking the credibility of those who've spoken out. Thank you very much. In sworn affidavits, a number of church members make specific allegations against Marty Rathbun, including more than a dozen instances of physical violence. The affidavits are from people who, who said within the church who said the beatings and the physical abuse what was not perpetrated by David Miscavige, but was perpetrated by you. Right. Outright lies. I did some, and I didn't come in here ever telling you I was a little Lord Fauntleroy and never did anything wrong. I'm no angel. I'm going to tell you, I was involved in this. But for God's sake, to try to make it sound like I perpetuated the whole thing is just a complete and utter fa fabrication. You can decide for yourself who to believe, but even these competing versions of what happened still raise questions that the public is entitled to know. What was going on in the church, and why were the police never called to investigate? Scientology, a history of violence, that's tonight and all week, just ahead.